hi guys and welcome back to my channel thanks for tuning in so today we're going to be doing a perfume video it's been a hot minute since we did one so let's get into it um today i'm going to be sharing with you like my um the the most girly girl perfumes in my collection and i'm also going to be sharing with you i i thought this would be kind of like a really good video because most of these are also they are like the best time for them is spring summer and as we're going into spring summer this is a great video i thought this is a great video idea so i'm going to share with you guys um my girly girl perfume videos today next week saturday i'm going to be sharing with you um the elevated these are um sort of like nice simply nice girly girl perfumes in my collection but i feel like you can go up from here like i feel like you can get into like a complex yet still feminine uh perfume and i'm gonna talk about that next saturday in next saturday's perfume video so this saturday we're just gonna talk about the nice like really nice um easy to wear every day very girly very feminine you can't um these aren't unisex i have a lot of unisex um scents in my collection these are not unisex sex they're really girly scents so that's um what we're doing today before i get into this video i just wanted to say that if you're new to channel to this if <laughs> if you're new to channel obviously we can't talk here <laughs> um before we get into the the video i just wanted to say if you're new to the channel or have been watching me for a while and are not subscribed like um girl if you love per perfume which falls under the category of beauty if you love fashion and you love good food this is the place you want to be like this is where it's happening i'm just saying so we're gonna wait like you can actually have a seat at this table and we're gonna we're gonna give you a minute to get sorted and subscribe it's just down below there we're gonna wait oh thank you welcome to the family <laughs> so after the little silly i don't know what that is you know what let's keep it moving anywho on a serious not though guys i do beauty fashion and lifestyle if you love um beauty talks and you love good food and you love beautiful spaces click subscribe you are home and join the family so um let's get into the <laughs> let's move on into the video because uh we can get rambly um the first perfume and i have arranged this in the order that it all the perfume all the eight perfumes i'm gonna talk about today are sort of under one they are one if you have one of these then you have all of them but i will talk about them in the order from the best to kind of like the least the less complicated so let's get started the first thing the first one maybe you guys if you know my collection you know the first female feminine really girly girl and i've done in-depth um reviews on these perfumes is miss dior and um i have two miss Dior's, so i have um miss dior I'm trying to close this bottle i have miss dior the old formula and miss dior the new formula so um yeah these are the, I, this is the ultimate girl like this is the ultimate girly girl scent of you know what it's just it's beautiful um if you can it's discontinued and it really breaks my heart but if you can get your hands on miss dior the old formula and be very careful because of dupes like people gonna be like duping you out here online and selling you a fake but if there's a chance for you to get miss dior the new formula which i came out somewhere around last year or the year before no year before or um 
the the old mistyor um the, the difference uh, again i have in-depth details about these videos you can click i'll link all the perfume playlist and all the perfume videos in the description below so you can if you're looking for the uh, review of these perfumes you can actually just go directly to that but um if possible i would always watch for you getting the uh, Mistyo or the Parfum, the older formulation. It is a much more complex scent and it is a much more um, quality scent. The recent Mistyo has been watered down and is still a beautiful, nice scent, but it's not as good as the old formula. So if you have a choice between the two, definitely go for the old formula. But the new formula don't pass up on it if you if you could get both i you can get both they are both good scents so on my number one spot is going to be miss dior this is the to me miss dior is sort of like the ultimate very dressed up dressy well put together girl um this is it. It's so female. It's fruit and flowers. It doesn't get any more female than that. I doubt that after you buy Miss Dior, you need any more fruity florals, like any perfumes that co um, combine fruit, fruits and florals. I doubt that you need any more. Um, these ones are also uh, Miss Dior, especially the new one that you can actually get is classed as a rose scent it's um it's a nice scent it's a beautiful scent it's a beautiful female feminine scent and if you are looking for a nice easy to wear every day perfume first watch my reviews secondly do not buy on just my recommendation alone because you might absolutely hate it or you might have something already similar in your collection so i recommend to actually go and try it out if you have the option of actually trying out a sample take that chance also i love it i think it's one of the best female very girly scents out there so that's the first one the second one is a timeless it's been around for a minute people who love scents will tell you that they can't live without this scent in their collection i've left i've been without this because this is an empty bottle but i just wanted to show you guys still like there's hardly any in there chloe that comes in at the second um place for me Chloe by Chloe, timeless, female, girly, not sickeningly girly, sweet, nice. I love Chloe. I think it's a good scent. I think it's a good scent to have. So it's something I would definitely check out if you're looking for a girly, beautiful girly, easy to wear every day kind of all season another thing that's about this sense that i'm showing you is that they're not particularly winter sense and they're not particularly sa or summer or spring they are nice in spring and summer if the summer is mild as you guys know if you know um about scents sweet scents tend to get sweeter in heat so it gets sickeningly sweet if you are in um in warmer weather um while in the cold uh, sweet scents just stay sweet so um yeah these are nice all year round scents as well second place is chloe i love this i've done a review on this years and years ago i still stand by it i love it it's a beautiful scent in the third place and in that order comes in coco mademoiselle and this is chanel um another very girly nice scent i love this one i think again i like to wear mine in spring summer but like i'm saying if you want an every single day sort of like nice girly girl scent coco mademoiselle you can't go wrong with this this is young this is fresh it's really nice i really really love this scent as well um 
yeah just really good we are kind of going downhill a little bit and when i say downhill is the one thing that i hate about scent and these days it's a deal breaker for me is if i have to keep reapplying a scent I feel like in 2020, we are at a place where scents should be put in the morning and stay put and sort of like wear up through the notes, play the notes out throughout the day. And if a perfume, I keep needing to reapply it, I just don't, I don't buy it. I just don't buy it. And so the ones that I've just shown you have a longer longevity they have a medium so you sort of like will need to apply it but you will need to apply it maybe once in the day um if at all sometimes like if you spray it on clothes or you you do the right things to do with the perfume before spraying it on then they should last but um now we are going into the category of scents that kind of don't stay and you definitely need to reapply a few times in the day i feel like these are kind of like annoying and a little bit of like a sort of like a little bit of fraud because i feel like if i buy 50 mil and i keep needing to apply it the whole day or if i buy 100 mil it will last me a shorter time than if i just bought something that i apply and they are those scents i have a ton of them in my collection they are scents that once you apply it sticks then second day this thing you will still be smelling that thing so of that scent so they those scents do exist and they are my type of scents but um the uh, the scents i'm gonna show you now are sort of um you keep need to apply and that's a deal breaker for me mightn't be for you but for me that's sort of like uh and not only do i have to apply reapply which all the scents in this video you will have to reapply at some point in the day but with these ones you keep to need to reapply it because it really does not stick the scent doesn't stick so anyway but it makes them good for other situations again i'm going to be doing more consistent perfume videos so we'll talk about it like uh i will do sexy perfumes and i will explain in that video why scents that don't last long actually are a really good sexy scent anyway let's um let's get into it the fifth one is it the fifth yes no one two three no this is the fourth one i'm counting fifth because i showed you two mysteriors but the consider mysterious as number one chloe number two and number three madame mazel mademoiselle uh but anyway c by Giorgio Armani. um it's a nice scent i like it i like it a lot it's a beautiful nice girly really fresh sweet girly scent i love it but um i don't think it's worth the money because it's very expensive for what it has to offer i think the the last one that i'm gonna talk about in this video will do the same sweet smell that's nice and clean and really nice scent and fruity this is very fruity it's more fruity than frollo see so like um it smells like something you want to eat it's really nice but it doesn't last a long time it doesn't stay on your skin for a long time so you need to reapply that two to three times in the day that's so bad for me i can't be bothered carrying around a bottle in my tiny handbag um so yeah that's that's jojo amani see this comes in at number four i like it it's very girly if you're looking for a girly girl scent and you do not mind the having to reapply it over and over again i will link like i keep saying i will link all of the perfumes that i'm talking about to you apart from one i've done in in depth apart from two actually i've done in depth reviews on them and um you can if you want further information like the in 
sort of like the detail about it i will put a link in my description below so that's that the other one that i bought at, no i got for last december not last december 2018 um christmas i got as a christmas um present in 2018 and used it up just in the year because i loved it that much it's sweet it's nice it's beautiful it's um my coco sexy ruby this is something i would never buy i would never buy personally i would have never bought but after being bought it i actually really like it it's a beautiful again very girly very clean very f fresh just a really beautiful girly scent so that comes in at number five are we at number five Yes, this comes in at number five. I love, um, I love Sexy Ruby. I love this scent. It's really, really nice. Again, you do need to keep reapplying it. But if you don't mind that, then you, you know, it's something to buy. Uh, another thing that makes me not mind scents that you need to reapply, if I really, really like the scent, is that I just turn it into at home or nighttime scent so when i'm at home and chilling um my bedside um sort of my bedside perfume i just turn it into that because i'm at home once i need a re up of it i just go and you know spray again so that's where i sort of like if i really really love the scent and it doesn't last long on me the the other thing that i can do but then the problem with that is that with that type of perfume you want the price to not be crazy because you're never really gonna wear it anywhere apart from it being a home and sort of like bedside um perfume uh bedside table perfume i don't know you guys can decide the other one is something that um is sort of like broke divided the perfume community on my channel um other people love it love it and swear by it i personally love it but i don't think that it's worth the hype i also don't think that it's worth the money and it's black opium i've used a lot of it since the last time i spoke about it and i use it like that as at home and at home scent another way that i use perfumes that don't last long is mixing it with another scent because i have more i have other more musky scents that don't have any sweetness to them when i want that musk to be to have a hint of sweetness i mix the two perfumes so i'll spray two perfumes at the one time and then i don't mind that the one will die off at some point and i then can use that that's another way that i use a perfume that i you know regard as it doesn't last and i don't want to keep reapplying it so yeah very it's a beautiful vanilla it smells of sweet vanilla um in short in, in on a quick um it has a coffee note in it and it's just beautiful it's nice not worth the hype definitely a nice scent if you really 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 love the scent the way that you could wear this is that you can either carry it around with you in a handbag or um so buy the smaller version of it which will turn out more expensive over time as you buy smaller smaller sizes and then you keep running out of it, it yeah it's a, it's a whole lot of a problem but um yeah this is a nice a very nice girly um scent it's nice it's young it's simple it's not complex um yeah this is one of the perfumes last but not least and you will be surprised or maybe not surprised if you've used it before that this scent has made it to this video um it is britney spears fantasy i love the bottle i don't mind the bottle the color i think is actually a beautiful um, color the scent is gorgeous and again if you are a type of person who doesn't mind reapplying your scent then this is a very beautiful um 
scent. It's a very beautiful everyday scent and it's affordable. It's what um, black opium price should be. You know, it's sort of like 20 pound and I think the smaller one is even cheaper. It, there's a lot of place where you can get this for really cheap, but it's a beautiful, it's actually a very beautiful scent. I love it. It's very girly. It's very sweet. It's very, um, it's black currant done beautifully. It's just a sweet, really female, beautiful scent. And if you haven't tried it, I know celebrity scents, I also feel the same way about them. I bit iffy and they are um, just questionable really. But um, this is an okay scent. It's definitely a nice um, girly scent. So these are the eight that I wanted to talk to you guys about in the girly um scent situation if you're looking for a nice spring summer scent that's easy to wear with everything and it doesn't really matter where you're going to what it doesn't matter the occasion just a nice simple everyday girly scent then this these one any one of these will do but my best recommendation will be Miss Dior the old formula and if you cannot get the old formula then Miss Dior the new formula so that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed this video I will see you guys in my next video um, next Saturday we're gonna be doing another perfume video um, I also wanted to say you guys um, on Tuesday I will be posting a um, fashion video so i'll be talking about 2020 trends 20 2020 trends so i have 20 trends that i wanted to discuss with you and i will be sharing this video on tuesday so on tuesday i'll start doing fashion videos and it would be nice if you could support me and like show up on tuesday maybe come back on tuesday and watch that i'll upload it at like 10 around 10, 10 o'clock p.m um so yeah I will see you guys next um, next week, Tuesday or Saturday. If you're just really interested in the perfumes, I'm going to be giving you an elevated female scent, but an elevated, like a more complex female scent. So it's just not just sweet and sort of like nice, but it has something to it. Um, I'm going to be talking about that next Saturday. So hopefully I'll see you back here on Saturday. Or if you really, really love me and you want to support me, um, then on Tuesday. And please don't forget to subscribe because I'd love to join. I'd love you to join the family. And it really does help my channel if you do subscribe. So I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you lots. Um, bye.